Was machst du da? Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're not gonna work out because I'm a little bit sick. It's not bad, but I feel it. my body is aching. Um, I've been traveling a lot and I think within five days I was on the plane for over 36 hours just on the plane. Um, and yeah, a lot of sick people and unfortunately I got sick too. So now today this topic is going to be what do you do when you're sick? Should you go work out? Should you, or should you just rest? What is the best thing to do? I'm going to tell you later what I usually do, but Adam is here as well. What do you usually do when you're sick? I just rest, most important sleep, rest, and I do supplement uh, vitamin C and zinc. There are a few things that I do not to get sick. One thing is obviously nutrition drink a lot of water generally and have a balanced diet that covers all vitamins and macro and uh, micronutrients that you need two is cold showers two, you're out oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> two, two. cold showers cold showers i've been doing cold showers for 10 years i do ice baths on the regular basis but only for like a few like half a year maybe try to get sleep as much sleep as I can. I think sleep is super important for staying fit and becoming healthy again. For me, it's vitamin C. I don't, yeah, vitamin C, but I don't do zinc. Um, but I agree with the sleep. The sleep is super important. Um, I, I know my body now, like if I feel like this, like, you know, just my body's aching, um, all I have to do is sleep, lots of water, vitamin C, um and food for me food for me helps a lot because i feel like there are different uh, opinions out there you know some people say don't eat um like phil is one of those guys and he does it like religiously and he's you know healthy all the time um but for me i need food um otherwise i can't get healthy again i need the energy i need sleep i need a lot of water i need a lot of tea um, so fluids for me is essential um, to get back on track. And yeah, so for that reason, we're going to cook today and I'm going to show you something. This is like one of my emergency meals. I've been talking about these for a while now, um, but I love it because you have fiber in there. You have a lot of sodium in there too, which for me, when I drink a lot, when I'm sick, I need some sodium because otherwise I just flush out everything. Um, and high in protein, fiber and lots of carbs too because i need the energy if your friend and especially if your partner husband wife girlfriend whatever is sick avoid close contact you know you don't want to be rude when your girlfriend is sick um and not kiss or like touch her or whatever but it's the best way not to get sick and uh, even if your friend is now johannes feels bad i'm not gonna like shake his hand or drink from the same cup or something you know so but most people don't do that and it's that's like the that's usually how you get sick by getting sick thing. from other people you know here's the thing i think that's only for men i think women are way stronger than men because whenever i'm sick and i'm not lying Whenever I'm sick, look look at like your mom, right? Like when you were sick as a kid, yeah. your mom was taking care of you, like really taking yeah. care of you when you were a child, but your mom never got sick. Yeah. Now thinking back, my mom never got sick. And now whenever I'm sick, um, and I, I'm like sick twice a year and only when I travel a lot and I don't get a, enough sleep and I'm jet lagged and then I work out and I'm not careful with, you know, uh, my 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 uh, diet and everything because I'm traveling yeah. that's when I get sick but then at the same time to jump back to that whenever I'm sick and Amanda takes care of me she doesn't get sick like not at all and she's like the sweetest like she you know tucks me in and like make sure that I'm um, comfortable and everything but the other way around when she's sick and I take care of her and I do exactly the same thing I can promise you after two days I'm sick <laughs> It's, it's a thing. I don't know why, but I think just women are stronger than men. Let's cook. Yeah. There's people like sanitize, hand sanitize like crazy. Oh yeah, that's true. Anywhere they go, in any grocery store, obviously 
you should wash your hands and all that stuff, mm -hmm. obviously. Mm -hmm. But this like excessive Over, yeah, use yeah. of sanitizers here, people are never, never build any good immune system here because they always sanitize everything like crazy. <clears throat> That's true. Like I had farms around me, so I was just used to being dirty all day long because we just, you know, played outside in the dirt and then the grass and like whatever. I never ever used a hand sanitizer or whatever. Yeah. And I agree with him. If you overuse it, you're not used to like the small bacteria, in my opinion. Um, it's not just, it sounds like uns unscientific to be like, oh, don't answer you. I gotta build your immune system and gotta, you know, touch the dirt to <laughs> <laughs> become immune. Eat but the it's, dirt. No, there's enough research that says exactly that. Let's cook. Alright guys, so now we're in the kitchen. Usually, um, as you guys know, I get uh, trifecta meals, but since I've been traveling a lot, I cancel it for that week because otherwise it would just, you know, uh, go to waste outside. This is why we're cooking today. But if you want to check out trifecta, there's a link in the description below um, and you can find exactly what I order. It's a vegan diet. It's high in vegetables, so lots of vegetables in those meals. Uh, I also order some extra protein um, beyond meat and then yeah just just click the link in the description you will see it it's amazing I love it Alamis loves it too he can only have a uh, certain amounts from the vet, uh, vegan ones because he's allergic to every single vegan um, thing out there possible but if you don't want to eat vegan stuff you can also order a paleo diet or like just regular meat and chicken like that's what you would get right yeah yeah all right, but now back to cooking. Um, just cutting some onions. Then I have a beefless ground beef here. This is super high in protein. It's like around 50 grams of protein. And then I'm gonna add this just because of the sodium. Um, sounds weird, but like for me, when I'm sick, sodium helps me a lot. Uh, this is another 55. So we're like a hundred and what did I say? 60 here, 55, easy cheesy. Um, rice. Beans, we're gonna add some beans too. It's another 21 grams, and that's about it. And then, tomato sauce. Smells good. Smells good. Looks. Doesn't look good. What? Yeah. It looks like chili. It looks like someone ate it before. <laughs> no. My food always looks like that too. One thing that I forgot. Basil. Ah, oh, I use basil too all the time. All the time. I love it. Yeah. Taste is good. I love fresh basil more, but I don't have fresh basil, so this is what I have to use now. I'm just gonna show you a little bit because obviously I wanna, I don't wanna like eat because nobody can eat it but me. So this is what I would do. Boom, put in some rice, boom. Then grab this beautiful thing, boom, boom. It's obviously just a small plate, but this is what it is. This looks a little bit better, but now what I'm gonna do is this, because it tastes better. Boom, boom, boom. And now I, I agree it doesn't look the best, but it's really tasty. And I love it because I have my fiber in there, I have carbs in there, I have protein in there. And right now, because I'm sick, lots of sodium. Um, and here we go, that's it. And the funny thing is that Phil doesn't eat that and Armas doesn't eat it, so it's all for me. <laughs> all right guys, so besides lots of water, lots of rest, good food, add some sodium, um, vitamin C, vitamin, no, zinc. Um, that should basically help you get back on track and do not work out when you're sick. This won't help you whatsoever. You're not gonna build muscle mass, you're not gonna lose weight. It's just counterproductive. So whenever you feel sick, take a day off, it's fine. And the best thing 
to do when being sick. You know what that is? Epsom salt bath. And for that, I don't need you because I'm, I'm going to take a bath now. Done, oh, sounds, you should do it. Sounds good. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow? Yep. Cool. All right, guys, I'm going to show you my Epsom salt bath and, um, and then we're going to conclude this video. So this is the best thing when you're sick. Epsom salt bath, the warmth, you just relax, your entire body relaxes and muscle relax and it's just like, it smells good, it feels good. That's what you should do. So this is it for today guys. And what must do though? I want to take a bath now. You think you should go home? You mean you should, that I should take a bath now, or not? I'll see you tomorrow! Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. I'm gonna take a bath now. I'll see you next time. I don't know why you were still here. I told him to go home. Rips my bath. I told him I'm sick. Fuck. <laughs>